Hi, welcome to DareToBeForChrist.com. My name is Derek A. Weems, and I'm a 25-year HIV-AIDS survivor. And I'm also a Christian. That's right, I am Christian. I was diagnosed with HIV in 1987, November of 1987, at just 24 years of age. Subsequently, I was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS in June of 1994, at just 31 years of age. However, unbeknownst to me, I discovered a miracle on earth. I discovered lying on my deathbed that God really did exist. That God really did love people with a past of homosexuality, people who are living with HIV and or AIDS, and that was very good news for me because during that time I was wasting away, I was very sick, I was taking a lot of medicines, hope was bleak, there were many dark days, and no one could save me. My accomplishments, my abilities, uh, none of my human uh, qualities or uh, capabilities, aspirations, none of those things could save me or resurrect me from my deathbed. But the Word of God was revealed to me one night and I learned for myself the love of God. And I want you to know for yourself just how much God loves you too, my friend. Because when you experience the same thing I did, I know it will impact your life, your future, eternity. Because that is really what God wants. He wants us to spend eternity with Him. And I know that oftentimes our religious communities, they do not bring the Word of God to us in kind. You know, it's often uh, met with confrontation, prejudice, and biases. Um, and that's just the humanness. You know, we're all born into sin. We're all sinners. And there's only two types of people uh, that are living upon this earth, regardless of what you've been told. Um, there are only sinners and sinners saved by the grace of God. That's it. So, you know, it's very important that you know uh, religion is not my savior. Jesus Christ is. So, here at DareToBeForChrist.com, you know, I would like to use this website as a medium to empower people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender, as well as those who may be living with HIV and or AIDS. I would like to empower them using the Word of God through the revelation of Jesus Christ so that they can know and experience and develop a relationship with Christ themselves. Because you will be so amazed when you find out um, how much God loves you, how much He is concerned about everything you are going through. But the most important thing that you need to know is that when you discover the love of God for yourself, He is going to explain and reveal every doubt in your heart, mind, and soul. He's going to answer all of those questions for you because He is the one who made you, who created you, and He is also the one who established your future, your divine inheritance. And you need to know that. I didn't know if God existed. I, like you, thought he was some nebulous entity. You know, some, you know, something invented by man to control the masses, you know, uh, out of fear mongering. But, boy, I tell you, you know, maybe if you don't know God, if you don't know whether he existed or not, maybe using my life as a cautionary tale, maybe it's because you really never need anyone so badly. Have you ever been given six months to live? Have you been given a death sentence? It's something to think about. We're all going to die, and we all want answers as to what happens when we die. 
And so I'm here to provide those to the gay and lesbian community as well as the HIV and AIDS community. You know, please feel free to email me or call me if you have any questions or um, dilemmas, more dilemmas that you would like some help with, um, or any Christian ethical implications with regard to God and HIV, God and uh, homosexuality, um, God and AIDS, you know, uh, a lot of those uh, subjects are very sensitive to all of us. And there's not a lot of Christian leaders who can address those subjects in kind using their life as an example. And I can do that. And so that is what Dare to Be for Christ is built on. It's built upon the rock, the foundation of Jesus Christ. It's built upon his philosophy of love, because the law of love covers all sins. And God is not a respecter of persons. He's a respecter of faith. And so he, is an execu he executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. And you need someone like that in your life. And so I certainly found, I certainly discovered that I did. And so if you say you don't need anyone in your life right now, you know, just say not yet. Because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. But God does, okay? So I want you to please look around on my website, my biography. There are two biographies. One explains my life before Christ. And one explains my life after Christ. Uh, experiencing and receiving the love of God and receiving Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Also, there are um, pictures, you know, you can feel free to, you know, email me any questions you may have. Um, also, uh, you know, there is no uh, uh, selling or donations being requested or anything. All I ask from you is your time, your heart, and an open mind. And if you can give me those three things, I, using the word of God, will bestow upon you a blessing that unlike anything you have ever experienced. Now, I know that many uh, people who are living an alternative lifestyle or people who are living with HIV and or AIDS, you know, their fear of retribution, they're being bullied, you know, they're being uh, treated unkind. And I want you to know that God does not think of you in the way that they want you to believe he does. To, to God, you are the apple of his eye. He is concerned about you because he is the one who created you. And he doesn't create junk. God, everything God's create, God, everything God creates is good. And you are a part of his creation. So I want you to know, do not harm yourself. Do not hurt yourself. You know, you have something to live for. And I want you to know that there's hope on the horizon. Please do not harm yourself because God loves you with an everlasting love. And you need to receive that love into your heart and into your mind and into your spirit so that you can live positively with hope, overcoming challenges, trials, and tribulations that are presented to you each day. And I want to help you do that, okay? So God bless you, my friends. And always know I love you with all of my God-given heart. I want you to be well, protect yourself. I've been celibate for 10 years as my life is consecrated to, to Christ um, so that I can be used as a testament and grace of his glory, of his goodness, of his love for people um, like you and me, okay? So God bless you. I love you, and remember this, if you are going to come out of the closet for anybody, consider coming out of the closet for Christ, because he certainly came out of the closet for you, okay? God bless you, I love you, and be well, my friends.